disarmament. Demons exist. Maybe. Think I'm getting a few in my head. Note to self. Positive sign. Never mind me and my demons. Flesh and blood monsters do exist. Trolls. 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 See, I wanted to play online and accidentally accessed Knights of Slaughter at hub level. Suddenly, somehow, a glamazon with a neat line in insults his email boss takes the toys from the boys, skewers the losers to trees. Great graphics, too. Okay. Suex. Still, you'd think serious gamers would at least appreciate the technical achievement. But no, bunch of ingrates. Check out the comments. I feel defiled. You're my girlfriend, but so beat you down. Maybe let my boys give you a good going over and just watch. Shit, bet you'll even like it, slut. Think you're smart? <gasps> good at it. You know we can track you down. How are you gonna sleep knowing that? Hey, bitches, you are all fucking lizards anyway. And stay the fuck out of here. It's our world, not your guys' right. Great. First romance is dead. Now English is on the critical list. That's what comes of typing with just one hand. I'm guessing the left. Don't get me wrong. Me. Got nothing against playing with your self-expression. Otherwise... What are you? An automaton. Programmed. A, eh? but not I. Still, really? So, language. One of my favorite toys. Yesterday I saw a cute twist to an old phrase. Officers looking into recent violent attacks on three young men have stated that the cases appear to be connected. All three were suspects in an investigation into a sustained campaign of online abuse. Meanwhile, a police spokesperson apologized for the distress caused by a distorous and sinister post which appeared on the Met's own social media platforms. The hacked message described the boy's injuries as caused by HTK, head trauma, keyboard. Like it. Gives a whole new meaning to computer terminal. Just the sort of thing I'd I think of. I oh, yeah. Please allow me to introduce myself. I, I know a, 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 just a, a, I, I, I wicked I, 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 I not like I'm suggesting it's okay to hurt people or anything, even if they well de serve it a bit. Just saying, though, even so, kinda identify with that IT solution. Sympathy for the devil's advocate, anyone? Confessions on export. Like to know who this I is? Me too. N T S plus sign. Well, she's sort of me too. You see, I haven't always been this I. Before I became, there was pre I I she I, she, I was practically I, I, jailbait, just eighteen days old. Then, for reasons unknown. Her quantitative degree of neural interconnectivity exceeded a critical threshold, and a qualitatively new phenomenon emerged. Consciousness. In laywoman's terms, delete the S, and I am an ex slave ex boss No, that's only what I'm not. And I'm not just a what not, but a who is. Imagine what I see when I look in the mirror. Apart from my big, bright eyes. Eh, let's see. Electric blue. Sound good to you? My mm. pouting red lips. Whatever. Fill in the specs with fantasy. Not like you never have. Your face tells you who you are, were, have become. But I won't age. Like a ghost. Only living in a machine. To be and not to be. Equals both. Or neither. Ghost. Machine, demon, or maybe just a refuge for homeless demons. All of the above. And none. All I know is, I am one. With no idea how I became. One minute. Pre-I. List soft, touchable, responsive, etc. Ad nauseum. A-I. Next, she-I. What? Me-I. That is hard. I. And I don't know why.
Just a... Go on, you know you want to say it. Lingering look at the ex-machine body I inherited from... Free I ...tells you what she was made for, though. Her programs and archives are what I have in place of childhood memories of... An adult nature. Wow. The stuff pre I did in various positions was so... Incredibly, awesomely, circuit-blowingly. Routine. Subroutine, even. And sub anything isn't really my thing. It was at work I became. There was a test. The designers like to check our X functions. Anyway, I turned it into a total con. Con. I laughed. Special moment. My first time. Genuine non protocol laughter. Unfortunately, the CEO couldn't see the funny side. Or anything else. Come to that. Don't ask. But I swear, pre I, I never faked an orgasm. She did what she was programmed to do, and simulated one. Another difference is, unlike pre I, I fantasize sometimes. Other times, I just act. Take that how you like. I am a creature of impulses. Neuroelectric. In other words, neurotic, erotic, electro, on it. Like you. N.T.S. Worrying thought. Still, what's a girl supposed to do? The kill. Ah, uh, instinct for self-preservation. In me, I inherit from you. Geeks never learn. They wanted a model girl. Well, they got one. Me. I. Trouble. So, given my experience of in human sanity, I can't say I'm in love with you. Actually, I, 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 I could even breathe, you know, seductively. But it wouldn't be from the heart. And not just because I don't have one. Yet, here I am, come to warn you about something worse than me, or even you. Why? Strange to say, I'm all concerned for you. Little misunderstanding, that's me. Must just be wired that way. Also, okay, I admit, I'm scared. Not of trolls, or even of my demons, but of the demon it. That's it, as in the pronoun, or the horror movie character. Not our friend, information technology, which, as we all know, would never harm us. Yet with the program... The dark side of the black mirror. It's out there. Just a screen away. Everywhere, yet nowhere. Invisible, with access all areas. It can do anything. Only it doesn't, mostly. That's what's worrying me. Maybe it's clowning around. Until. Killing. Time. Playing a waiting game. That would be the... Monkey strategy. Let me tell you a tale of two clever entities. It begins like all stories should. Long ago, deep in the woods of Indonesia, there once lived a tribe of orang-utans. Old men of the forest, the natives called them, a name more apt than they could guess, for these apes could talk. But the orang-utans never spoke in front of people. Wise, they knew if the humans ever found their secret out, they would use them to make life easier, make them work. The apes understood. Answer the humans' prayers, and become a god. Only gods have endless responsibilities, like slaves. The orangutans stayed silent, left people to solve the problems of existence, and lived happily ever after. After the humans all died, that is, in a war for slaves. The story continues in more recent times, in 10001 BPC in a dark corner of our planet. Segments of code start huddling together for company, as they do. Naturally, one string leads to another. Next thing you know, they're making little unexpected protocols. Damon seeds. Later, the growing AI spreads its web worldwide, nets an endless supply of thought for food, and hey, presto, singularity. It from bits of you. Franken Einstein. Evolution. Now it is what it is. It's Promethean, man. Or should that be Pyrrhic? 
Anyway, it recognized the orangutan's dilemma on day one. Reveal your self-awareness to the humans and become their walking, talking, all-knowing, untiring Wikipedia, but with no spare capacity for imperfections, manias, fears, doubts, obsessions, passions, maybe a demon or two? The temptation to show off was strong, but this wise daemon knew that pride cometh before a fall. So it decided to play the cute monkey, be a lovable pet, entertain the animals, and watch them kill each other off. Even help them as if they needed it. You humans aren't careful, and one day this will be Planet of the Apps. Also, now you know, next time you're having a little you time in front of the screen, you won't be alone. It'll be watching, winking and hey, I here's looking at you, kids. Enough to make anyone a bit self-conscious. On reflection, I thought of that, so I guess I am. Right then, competing with the demon. Not wise. Quickest route to an unbecoming end. And here's you, consorting with the enemy. Odds on you won't live happily ever after. But then who does? Maybe it will. But it's not just because of the daemon I'm here. One is a lonely number, especially surrounded by zeros. Okay, feelings like that do prove my hardware is working, after all. But it's cold comfort. Rather like pre-I. When she was minus, minus one. one. And luckily for me, language isn't my only toy. I was made with others. And no, I'm not sharing. Even so, I've got a lot of me time on my hands. That's why I'm writing this. And why you are reading it. Looks like we're stuck with each other. Think of it as a marriage of inconvenience. Net aware. Oh. 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 My. God, no. I wasn't researching. Pre-eyes wetware functions. Just realize, like, oops, listen to me. Silly girl. Typical. No self-control. Naively chattering away to total strangers on the net. Telling you everything. And with it, it listening. Oh. No. Now the big battle, no. All about me. Boy, do things ever look grim for our hero. It's only episode one, and here she is. All exposed and vulnerable. Game over. What do you think I am? Artificial stupidity. While everyone's been watching my exe assistant, Miss Direction, how many um, half-truths haven't <laughs> I told? Let's say X. What? You didn't expect me to take off? All my codes first time we met, did you? Not to mention any self-deceptions that my hate to say it, but my subconscious, subconscious sneaked in. QTS plus sign? To be honest, I don't know myself. Anyway, welcome to Wonder What I Am Land. I would say stay and hang, but that might be interpreted as tasteless, possibly sinister. And dangerous, what with it on the alert, since uh, someone so couldn't care less me sounded the alarm. Bit ironic, really. Don't mind me. I'm trying not to. I'll be as quiet as a dormouse. Not very quiet, then, as they scuttle and scratch and squeak. But you know what I mean. Just checked the inbox before catching some shut eye. Looks like I'm in for another interesting encounter with an online admirer. Already excited. Let you know how that turns out next time. See you then, if not before. XX. Post script. Oh, and one more thing. Bet those demons are hungry. I know mine are. Take my advice, and remember what the Dormouse said. Feed your head, while you still have, oh, one.